This media demonstrates how to correctly plan and install the formation treatment, geocells. Geocells are a formation treatment suited to sites with soft subgrade. It reinforces the formation via geocellular confinement. Geocells can provide a solution to sites where the only alternative is to undertake additional excavation. If geocells have been specified, seek guidance on material requirements, timings, plant and training required to deliver the work. These documents can be used to provide guidance on geocell installation. Geocell installation can require more time than traditional formation treatments. This could be impacted significantly when installing geocell on single lines or in areas with limited clearance. When ordering infill material, you should allow for an additional 50 mm depth of material for compaction purposes. The preferred infill material is sand. Different materials can be used as long as it is clean and has no cohesive particles. Any cohesive material will result in poor performance of the geocell. The flat packed geocell should be placed strategically along the length of the worksite. Where possible, the geocell panel should be connected using the keys provided prior to installing and fully expanding the cells. Connections could be length or widthways dependent on site requirements. This will allow for a quicker install. Where access permits, a safe cess should be provided to walk along that is free of obstructions. This should be part of the site safety preparation. When the geocells have been installed, prior to filling they will present a tripping hazard and staff will be unable to walk along the forefoot. Consideration should also be given to machine movements as they will become restricted. The appropriate infill material should be delivered to site in a position that is accessible to begin the infill process. If specified, a geotextile separator can be used beneath and above the geocells. Levels of the excavation should be recorded on the test and inspection plan. A consistent excavation is important to provide a level base for the geocell layer. Care should be taken around any previously installed geocell when excavating. The new geocell installation should be connected to or abutting the existing geocells. Install the geotextile separator if required. This should be installed in one single width. If longitudinal overlaps are unavoidable, appropriate overlapping should be applied. The geocells should be expanded so that the pockets are fully open and are uniform throughout the site. The consequences of not expanding the geocells fully could impact track performance for the life of the asset. There are various methods of holding geocell sections open once expanded. Staking using wooden or steel stakes. Pin down at one end using stakes along the width. The geocells can then be expanded and staked down along the length. Bars. Use bars to hold the geocells in place across the width of the geocells. Two bars can be placed in a cross shape to add further stability longitudinally for infill purposes. These should be removed prior to compaction. Ballast or sandbags. Place sandbags around the perimeter. When one panel has been installed, it will need to be connected to the next panel using the keys provided. Once several geocell panels have been installed and the appropriate exclusion zones are available, the backfilling of the geocells can commence. Track layout will have a significant effect on your timings and infilling methodology. Working with three lines. The infill material can be contained in a train on line 3 
with your machines operating on line 2 to lift material into GeoCell installation site in line 1. If working with two lines, the infill material can be lifted in from an engineering train on the second line into the GeoCell installation site on the first line. If working with only a single line, the infill material can be piled at one end of the site and smoothed out with the excavator. This will result in an increased installation time. Geocells can be filled using a number of methods. When filling the cells with an excavator, the material should be dropped from no higher than one meter above the surface of the geocells. The geocells should be overfilled by at least 50 millimeters above the top of the cell walls to protect it when machines travel over and to allow for compaction. Both of these activities prevent deformation or damage of the geocell. Once the geocell panel has been filled, machines are free to transit over the geocell. The machine can then be ramped onto the geocells from a rail mounted position or via a ramp of material. The material can then be smoothed by the bucket or dozer. Fully compacted infill is critical to the performance of the geocell. Triple whackers or similar should be used to achieve this. Where specified, a geotextile separator may be installed above the geocell. The final level should be recorded in the test and inspection plan before moving on to place ballast. Here are some important points to consider when installing GeoCell. Install as the design. Non-cohesive infill material. GeoCells expanded fully before infilling. Achieve the full dig width and level surface. Connection of adjacent GeoCells. Overfill of GeoCell to allow for compaction. Only use product approved GeoCells. Contact Network Rail Trackbed Team if further information is required.